I wanted to cover the mode menu very briefly. So the mode menu can be accessed by going to Shift Mode, and you'll see there's the uh, just the regular array of options for how you display numbers. So let's say I have a number like oh, 45 point. Let's just put in a number like that. So standard display will try to display as many digits as it can. With fixed mode, you want to fix it to a certain number of decimal places. So let's say I want two decimal places. So enter in two, and it fixes it to two decimal places. It just rounds it for display purposes. Scientific mode will add an exponent. So let's have two decimal places, but in scientific mode, we have 4.56 times 10 to the third. And then engineering mode does that in multiples of three for milli or mega or kilo. So let, let's, uh, let's just do that. So this would be in scientific mode. Does it with the two decimal places times 10 to the fourth. If we switch it to e engineering mode, now it'll do it to times 10 to the third. And again, multiples of three. Of course, you can change from degrees to radians. And then if we go to Next, you can see the second line of the menu. And you can change your radix here. You can toggle it between comma or period. These other options here are for various undo functions. So you have Command. So if you enter in a command, just a, a typed command, then you can recall it by doing Shift-Command. If that is enabled, you can disable it. Undo stores a copy of the stack, and then when you do an operation, you can undo it and recover the entire stack by doing Shift Undo. And again, you can toggle that off or on so it stores a copy or doesn't store a copy. Last stores the last number or the last uh, value that was lost when you did your calculation. ML is multi-line, so you can turn off multi-line. If you have a number or a command that runs over, it will go on to the next line. So you can turn that off or on. And then last, if you do the um, program and display mode, you can see this will print out your current settings. I don't have a printer attached, so it'll just time out here. It'll print out your current settings um, that you have, and of course, just display them.